My name is Magnus Berge. I work here at the ILO office for Central and Eastern Europe. My job here is very interesting. One of my tasks is to help the ILO work better with the trade unions. This is very important. Trade unions fight for better working conditions and better salaries. And these are among the main priorities for ordinary citizens in our region. I also work with the trade unions on how to promote better working conditions and rights across the region. And thirdly, I give advice and support the trade unions on how to approach ILO or other international bodies when their rights are being violated. When we support trade unions here in Central and Eastern Europe, we focus on four main areas. Firstly, when it's needed, we assist trade unions in modernizing the structure and how they function. This will make the unions stronger when advocating for workers' rights and for better working conditions. Secondly, we help trade unions develop new and better services for members and potential members so that they can attract more people to the union and become more relevant. Thirdly, we assist the trade unions in communicating better, both when they are in dialogue with other actors at national level or local levels, but also communicate better to their members and potential members what services they can offer and why it's good to be a trade union member. Fourthly, we support trade unions to develop good policy proposals to national debate on employment and labour policies so that the voice of workers are heard in the national debate. Let me give you some examples of how we work. In North Macedonia, we helped the trade union to develop a phone application that workers can download and through this application, they can notify the union if their rights are being violated. The unions can then address these short comings directly or through the Labour Inspectorate. In one case in that country, we had hundreds of workers who did not receive salaries on time. But through the use of the application and the intervention of the union and the Labour Inspectorate, we saw that all the wage errors were settled. In this country, the percentage of workers that are part of trade union is actually increasing. So it shows that by providing good services to members, trade unions become stronger.